Have you had any weird encounters in Assassin's Creed? Maybe you've seen a giant squid or something along those lines? Well, I am Fishy, and today we are going to be talking about five weird things in Assassin's Creed. I apologise for the lack of gameplay footage on this first one, but Assassin's Creed 2 is broken on my PC, and I don't see Ubisoft fixing it. This first one comes from a side mission in Assassin's Creed 2 called The Messenger's Burden, in which Ezio Auditore is asked to deliver a letter from Andrea Allegro to a farmer living outside the walls of Forley. On reading the letter to be delivered, its contents insinuated that the farmer was both violent and committed to bestiality. Upon delivering the letter, the farmer will become hostile and he will have goons set on you and you just have to beat them senseless. I mean the letter does ask him to turn himself in. What if he doesn't want to do that? You know, what if he just wants to go on the run? Of course he's going to attack you. The mission is a courier assignment in Romagna that comes between the missions Wedding Bells Are Ringing and Speedy Delivery, which are other courier assignments. But what's weird is that the farmer does not have a name of his own, and after all the right Google searches I couldn't find one that suited him. Now this next one is very weird, so you're going to want to come to Antoka Rec. Once you are here, you're going to want to avoid the sharks and approach the top part of the sunken ship. Once you are there, you should be able to see what looks like a tentacle hurrying away, when you get in there, go to the window, and sooner or later your patient will be rewarded with this cutscene. And of course, in this cutscene we see a giant squid, presumably a kraken easter egg, killing a whale. Fucking scary, am I right? In fact, Edward was so shaken up by this ideal that he just drowned himself. Yeah. For this next one, we must go to the assassin tomb beneath Santa Maria della Vistazione. I hope I said that right, I probably didn't. After Ezio pulls the lever, you must stand over this part of the water for about a minute, and after that minute, you will be greeted by a cutscene of a giant squid swimming past, which is really quite strange. If you pull the lever and do the same thing again, you will of course be narrowly missed by a tentacle trying to kill you. Don't worry, I agree, two squids in one video is enough. For this next one, you're going to want to go to Sleepy Hollow in the River Valley area in Assassin's Creed Rogue. Once here, you're going to want to look around to find a graveyard where you will be able to encounter this fat lug. Once you see him, he, you'll realise he doesn't have a head, which will make you quickly conclude that he is in fact a reference to the Headless Horseman. Upon engaging in combat, the Headless Horseman is completely impossible to kill, and the only way to do it is really to hang him from a tree because he cannot get himself out of that situation. Other than that, you have to shoot a specific pumpkin, and that also kills him. Because, if I am not mistaken, in the story that involves this guy, the pumpkin is actually his head. If you think this is where the story ends, you're in for a bit of a shocker. Because in Assassin's Creed 3, which takes place after the events of Assassin's Creed Rogue, if you actually cared enough to do the Frontiersman memories, not a lot of people did, one actually does involve the Headless Horseman, who's been killing people and leaving their bodies with severed heads or something. After you've sort of done the investigation, you see him sat there on a horse with a pumpkin for a head. Is this the same headless horseman? Is he just rocking his pumpkin battle cap? How are his eyes and mouth glowing neon green? Is this just some troll? Or, or is this actually the headless horseman? Of course, both of these are just easter eggs, but it's really cool that they're in both games, which are set in similar areas. But for now, we can rest easy knowing the Headless Horseman has been reunited with his horse. For this one, we're going to have to fire up Assassin's Creed Unity. Once you get into the game, get here on the map to this little boat. Swim over to the boat, and you will find something really strange inside, yes. Once you get to the boat, you will see a man who is quite visibly insane, surrounded by his many pet cats. Of course, the logical thing to do here would be to drop a smoke bomb and kill him. I feel like a right Samaritan. But anyway guys, there you have it, five strange things in Assassin's Creed. Now these are only a few of the strange things you can find in Assassin's Creed, there are of course going to be more. If you have any that you want to add in the comment section, please go ahead and leave them in the comment section. After all, that's what it is there for. Be sure to go ahead and like the video. Share with your friends, hit subscribe if you are just joining us. 
thank you for watching, and I'll see you. I fucking butchered that. Whatever, I got the point across. And I'll see you all in the next one with another video. So, yeah. So, yeah.